Fire destroys a wood-based business in Morrow County. ABC 6's Tom Bosco was the first reporter at the scene as an Amish-owned sawmill burned. Tom's live there now to show us the damage. Tom? Yeah, Terry, you can see behind me there's not much left of the sawmill here. But customers and neighbors say they don't expect Troyer hardwood to be gone long. Neighbors, family members, and employees looked on as firefighters mopped up what was left of Troyer Hardwood. The fire started around 8.15. Eight employees inside tried to fight it with fire extinguishers, but once the blaze reached the flammable wood shavings and sawdust, it was out of control. Tom Stinson had hired a relative of the owner of the mill to do some work on his house across Morrow County, but saw the fire on ABC6. I seen it on your station. There was a lumber yard on fire, and he said, that's my brother, and I brought him on over. What he saw was a mill destroyed. Oh, I couldn't believe it. It's a lot of hard work. You know, everything's gone at once. Mark Hulse showed up here with a truckload of wood to be processed. He's been coming here for the last two years. Ever since they started, they built this themselves, put it up slowly, and just had it where they needed it. Hulse says the owner had just finished the office building. It's fine, but the rest of the mill is gone. However, Hulse knows they'll rebuild. The whole family pulls together, and, and they'll pull together through this, too. Now, firefighters are still officially investigating and haven't uh, come up with an official cause of this. Now, the Amish, of course, are reluctant to go on camera, but one member told me that he thinks that an engine malfunctioned inside the mill and ignited, and then it started spraying gasoline. That intensified the flames here. But they say rebuilding could begin as soon as next week. Reporting live in Morrow County, I'm Tom Bosco, ABC 6 News. Thanks, Tom.